Hey, Dr. Burke here. Listen, I want to talk about what's behind bruising. Okay, now, of course, if you hit your your arm on a door handle, whatever, you're going to bruise. I'm not talking about the actual trauma that caused bruising. I'm talking about bruising and you had no trauma. Where is that coming from? Okay, there's a couple different causes. Uh, number one, it's a vitamin C deficiency. Now, vitamin C uh, helps the capillaries with the collagen. So when you're deficient, or if you have a mild version or a subclinical version of scurvy, you'll have more bruising and bleeding internally. You'll have spider veins, you'll have spongy gums or periodontal issues or, uh, you know, things like that. But you can also have bruising as well. So if you have that, um, that usually can come from not having enough um, vitamin C in the diet. So you're, you don't like vegetables or you don't consume enough vegetables. Our bodies need minimally seven cups of vegetables every single day. If you're not doing that, you might want to implement that and your bruising may just disappear. The other cause of bruising, um, vitamin C deficiency, is insulin resistance. I talked about this many, many times. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll put some links down below, but that's a situation where your, your body's making too much insulin because you're having too many carbohydrates, refined carbohydrates specifically. Now, number two, a vitamin K1 deficiency. Uh, vitamin K1 is responsible for clotting factors, okay? So clotting. And so if you're not clotting, you can get bruising. Now, again, it could be you don't have enough vitamin K1 in your diet, and that would be leafy dark greens, right? Leafy greens, especially the dark ones, not iceberg lettuce. So if you're not consuming enough vegetables, well, boom. So see, the vegetables really supply both of these factors right here. But let's pretend that you are consuming those vegetables. Well, then it could be that your good bacteria in your gut is not there. There's a significant amount of vitamin K1 that is made by your own bacteria. So if you don't have those microbes, maybe you had a history of antibiotics, Maybe you had something to disrupt that. Maybe you have leaky gut, um, Crohn's or diverticulitis, whatever. That could be the reason why you don't have the K1. Now, it also could be you're on warfarin or Coumadin, which is a drug that uh, prevents the clotting. And because it, it's basically a kind of a version of rat poison where um, it's just a chemical that blocks vitamin K1 and then you have internal bleeding. So. In this situation, they don't want you to consume any vegetables. So here you are, you can't get the K1 anymore, um, but you can have other vegetables like um, squash and the yellow and orange vegetables and the certain cabbages you can do. You just can't do the dark green ones or the ones that are high in uh, vitamin K1. Okay, so that's a different situation. I'll put a link down below if you are on this. This is uh, a blood thinner. Okay, so now uh, the next thing is adrenal weakness, okay? Now, here's a condition right here. It's called acute adrenal cortical insufficiency, which the person has bruising all over their body, okay? That's another cause of bruising. But if we look at what the adrenal gland does, one of the functions is it stores a lot of vitamin C. It's a storage house because we need vitamin C to make adrenal hormones, even like adrenaline or even um, cortisol. So I, my personal uh, feeling is that the adrenal problem with bruising is really a vitamin C deficiency because if you have adrenal issues, you'll deplete your vitamin C. And by the way, if you're taking synthetic vitamin C, it, you're not going to have the right kind. You need the full complex from food, not some synthetic version that's made from cornstarch and sulfuric acid, which has no vitamin C in it. That won't work. In fact, that will make your adrenals worse. So you want a food-based vitamin C or just consume foods high in vitamin C, which would be like the bell pepper, parsley, spinach, kale, huge salads. All those are very high in vitamin C. All right. So Hope that helped and put your comments below. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.